Minister of Culture, Senator Brenda Hood, says although her ministry is not responsible for the operations at the museum, they are concerned and are working at resolving the problems. The issues range from late payment of salaries to lease agreements with tenants that rent spaces in the building on Young Street. According to Senator Hood, the government has been attempting to address the issues. She said government has requested information on matters, but to date is still awaiting updates from the current management of the museum. So we wanted to know what were the issues so that perhaps we can come up with a plan to work together to improve because at the end of the day I am not uh, impressed with the whole operations in terms of I think there's a lot we can do. The building where it is housed is a huge building. There are lots of things that can be done. If, if you look at it uh, and you do a proposal, perhaps you can submit a proposal for funding and all of that. To me, it's a historical building too. So how, what do we need to do? So these were the information we asked, which we never received. Senator Hood says a committee has been formed to look into the issues of the museum. All of the artifacts and so do not belong to a group of people. It belongs to the Grenadian people, the country, and therefore we need to preserve and protect. So what we want is the standards to improve. There's transparency. I am not too sure. I know that the ministry did receive a call from somebody who was a tenant there expressing concerns. What we want to say is not that we want to shut down the museum that is furthest from the truth. We need a museum, but we want it to operate a way that we all will be proud of. Even the current persons who are there now, how can we work to make sure that this museum be what it is be? Some people have been involved for many, many years, but you know, after many, many years, sometimes you have to pull back and work with new people to see how best you can improve. Joseph McKee-Smith, GBN News.